Lorraine, 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 who are you wearing? The Marvel Universe. Hello, fandomistas, I'm Lorraine Sink, and you are watching a well-dressed episode of The Watcher. Spring fashions are in, so today we're going to explore some of the new looks that have been getting attention in solo titles across the Marvel Universe. So get your cameras ready for that Marvel catwalk. The superior Iron Man highlights his new attitude with an all-silver look that has been catching everyone's eyes. And Tony doesn't want to have all those eyes on him without showing off his moneymaker. So his new suit comes with a clear faceplate. Ladies love the facial hair. Keeping her identity a mystery, the new Thor sports a helmet with a face mask. Perfect to keep the paparazzi off her back. But regardless of the season, there's no better accessory than Mjolnir. Odin's son has gone a different route since the new Thor hit the scene. Shirtless, a tattered cape, and a left arm made of black uru, it's not a look that just anyone can pull off. But the ex-god of thunder isn't just anyone. Squirrel Girl is showing she can rock college fashion in her own solo title. So she turned in the turtleneck for a sporty new romper and jacket. Her civilian look also wows by using her tail as a posterior enhancement. Let's just say this girl can really rock some yoga pants. You can't talk fashion without including one of Marvel's rising stars, Spider-Gwen. The minimalistic design by Robbie Rodriguez has a sleek look that really pops. J. Jonah Jameson won't know whether to put her photo in the paper's crime section or the fashion section. Speaking of spider women, spider woman. For the first time in 37 years, Jessica Drew has a new outfit. And thanks to Chris Anka, it's stunning. Sunglasses that double as a mask, a jacket that zips up to reveal her spidery side, and wings to allow her to glide between skyscrapers. Get the full look in Spider Woman on shelves now. Ant-Man Scott Lang also is looking better than ever despite his recent fun employment. His red and black suit is topped off with a chrome helmet, complete with an ant communication device, of course. I hope those ants appreciate how good he looks. The must-have of the season, though, is Angela's new heavenly armor. This magical couture customizes itself to the wearer and forms wings from the liquid gold metal of her icor blades. Angela finally has an outfit to lord over all ten realms. See it in action for the first time in Angela Asgard's Assassin number four. And finally, let's talk about the best dressed character in the entire stable of Marvel Comics, Howard the Duck. I don't know where he buys his suits, but it can't be easy to get one that has tail room. Regardless of where he shops, Howard knows that the clothes make the duck. Which heroes are sporting your favorite outfits? Tell me down below, and I'll see you next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and check out these other marvelous videos. Oh, I'm sorry, no more photographs.